Assalamu alaikum my dear students. This is teacher Hadil Azzabi from Taqarub School and today inshallah we are going to start with our new reading lesson. Our reading lesson today is about master mind, okay? So here we have a dialogue between, between two characters and uh, let's see what happens. Quiz master is the one who is going to ask the question. Today on the show, we have Jamal Sabah, who is a self-taught expert on the history and the future of Earth resources. So self-taught means that you teach yourself without any need to a teacher or a, a university or so on, okay, of Earth's re resources. So Jamal is an expert or is specialized in earth resources. Jamal, you are going to answer as many questions as you can about earth's resources. Jamal, okay, so quiz master, start the clock. What are the seven types of renewable energy? Okay, so here we have, uh, let's say a game or a competition. So Jamal here must answer the questions as fast as he can. Okay. So they are solar wind, and we talked about this resource, hydro, biomass, also we talked about it, wave, tidal, and geothermal. Okay? Quiz master, correct. Why is solar ener energy called primary? renewable energy, Jamal. It is the origin of many other resources of energy. It is also the most abundant renewable energy resource. And when we finish reading, we are going to uh, talk about or uh, explain the vocabulary of this text. Quiz master is wood, a renewable energy resource. Jamal, it is in Europe, however, if growing it, it cutting it, drying it, and transporting it uses more energy than it actually provides. When it is burnt, we cannot say that it is renewable. So, wood is a renewable energy, but when it is cut, it is not a renewable energy. Quiz master, what is the difference between Renewable and fossil fuels. Fossil fuels, which means that uh, the uh, run out energy, okay, or the run out uh, resources. Time fossil fuels were created longer ago, but both fuels are derived from living matter. Quiz master, what are the two main kinds of solar technology? Jamal, solar water heating, which delivers hot water through pipes and solar PV, or photovoltaics, which delivers electricity through cables. So this is the PV, which is photovoltaics, and it delivers electricity through cables. Quiz master, which country is the largest producer of nuclear power? Jamal, I think that it is the USA. So the USA is the largest country um, which produce nuclear power. Read somewhere that they produce 30% of all the nuclear generated electricity in the world. So here they refers to the USA. So US. Finally, what energy resources, according to experts, will be the most common in the future? Jamal, that's a difficult question. Um, experts say it will be nuclear power, but they also say that we have to develop the way it is produced. So here, it refers to nuclear power, because otherwise it will be very dangerous. Well, thank you, Jamal. I can tell you that you got a v every single question right. Well done. So here we see that, or we saw that Jamal have ans has answered the 
all the questions or the all the questions correct, which means that he has won the competition or the game. Now let's talk about the vocabulary or identify the vocabulary. Biofuels, which means a fuel derived directly from living matter. Living matter such as trees, animal wastes, and so on. Hydro, a, hydro, a hydroelectric power plant. Derived, obtain something from a specified source. Primary means essential. Tidal means relating to or affected by tides worldwide, which could be global or international, extending or reaching throughout the world. Now, let's try to find out from the paragraph. Mastermind is a noun. The is an article. We have also or is a conjunction. Finally is an adverb. Difficult is an adjective. Well is a modal verb. We have, let's search for a preposition. As also is a conjunction. Let's see. To is a preposition, that is a relative pronoun, okay, on is also a preposition. Okay, this was our lesson for today, thank you for listening.